why the roof at Prairie High School needs to be repaired. The National Education Association states, the American Society of Civil Engineers gives the condition of America's 100,000 schools an overall grade of a D plus. Schools should be providing the best facilities for their students. Currently across America, this is not the case. If students are expected to give the best they can to their schools, how can we not expect schools to give the best they can to their students? While I am no expert in school facilities or the psychological effect they have on their students, I have completed a variety of research over this topic. College Community School District will improve its students' academics and health if they use a large-scale community fundraiser to repair the high school roof. Starting off with our problem. For several years, the Prairie High School roof has been leaking, leading to stress on students' academic and mental health. The Education Resource Information Center states, Cash found that students in substandard school facilities performed poorly in comparison to students in standard or above standard school facilities. This provides a clear connection between students' academics and their school facilities. Without the proper facility, facilities, students are less likely to su succeed academically and with better facilities, they are more likely to get higher grades. Then there is health. The Harvard School of Public Health stated, to mold to poorly ventilated air, uncom uncomfortable temperatures, inadequate lighting, or noise. These all can affect negatively on students' health. This provides outstanding evidence on why roofs like prairies need to be repaired. In schools with poor conditions, there is a clear connection to poor student health and well-being, which is not a safe condition for a school building. But there is a simple solution. A large building repair is no small task with significant cost of construction. But local schools, like our local Cedar Falls School District, was able to complete a large facility upgrade with a local school fundraiser. Andy Malone stated, Cedar Falls, a committee raised $3.6 million of its $5 million goal for the Tiger Performance Center for the new high school. Our neighboring school was able to raise the funds to completely rebuild the facility. This means that it is very much possible Prairie to complete a similar type fundraiser to simply repair our roof. Only if College Community School District can commit to the idea of raising the funds necessary to repair our high school's roof. With a fundraiser, Prairie has the funds to repair the roof without putting additional strain on the budget, providing opportunity to repair the high school. Community fundraisers have already been proven at our neighboring school district, Cedar Falls, proving the very logical and easy process of raising the necessary funds to make large repairs or upgrades. In conclusion, large community fundraisers can lead to improved student academics and decreased health risk in schools across America. Neglected facilities is not a unique problem to Prairie or local school districts at all, but in fact, it's a problem all across America, as stated before. But in order to fix our schools, our local communities have to be willing to band together to fix their local schools if we want to see a brighter future for our school facilities and our student health. Thank you.